What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and in today's video, we're gonna be installing the water system into the adventure trailer. Stay tuned. First step of getting the water system in is getting the tank in. So as you can see, this is a 21 gallon cell. It's got two one and a half inch threaded um, basically bungs. And these are sealed with plastic on the inside. So we're gonna have to hole saw this out. These two are standard half inch NPT fittings. And so basically if you're looking at it from the side, the way this is gonna work is this one's gonna remain blanked off. This is gonna be our fill. This is going to be our vent and this is going to be our feed line for the pump um, and this vent is very important these tanks um, will take a certain amount of pressure but they really need to be vented so you can't just force feed them water because they will explode um, so we're going to basically run this vent back to the same fill line so that it can uh, basically equalize pressure so the first step is we have to hole saw out this uh, plug and I'm using, what is this, uh, inch and three quarter hole saw fits in there perfectly. So this, this is really thin, it'll come right out. And just like that, we have the little plug out of it, done with that. So we've got a nice clean hole here. Uh, so the next step is we gotta install the, the fittings. So we're gonna be using these, these are standard half inch uh, NPT to PEX um, for this hole and this hole and I always put on a little bit of um, pipe thread compound you can use Teflon tape if you prefer um, but I like the the schmoo Now for the fill hole, it's the same deal. We have this, this is a one and a half to one inch threaded adapter. Then we have this piece, which is one inch threaded to one and a quarter inch um, barb. Uh, and cause it's a one and a quarter inch barb on our fill side. So same approach here. We're just gonna fittings are in. The next step is getting the pump mounted. Basically it takes two M5 bolts. I just bought some some longer screws. We're gonna mount it through the bottom of the sheet metal. And basically the pump fits just perfectly in here. And what will happen is there's a strainer and a fitting that goes on right there. It has to be on the vacuum side which is the, the into pump side. And then there will simply be a little pex and then a little elbow and that will help make up for the difference in height here as well um, without putting any strain on the pecs. And then we'll just do another elbow out of here running straight up through the floor. And this way, this whole panel is removable. All this is serviceable. Uh, nothing's really in the way. So that we can basically remove it uh, whenever we need to. And I'm using these um, flared pecs fittings. They're a lot easier to remove um, without screwing up the pecs connection uh, than the other like solid brass style fittings. So let me show you kind of what's going on here. Basically we have PEX half inch line. This is our feed line, it comes through here, it comes to this little pre-filter. It's flipped upside down so we can remove it. Uh, this pre-filter came with the pump and it has to be on the vacuum side, so basically where it's pulling. And then over here and then it'll push up, uh, water up into the main part of the, part of the body. Um, so the next thing we got to do is get this underneath the trailer and figure out how to connect the main fill line to the, to the main fill. Um, the other thing I did was I took this, this foam is just like the floor foam and I wedged some on all three sides 
That way this tank has space to move, but it also isn't uh, banging around or, or flopping around. So next step is going to be the leastest fun because I got to get all this up underneath there and, and get it at least sort of uh, bolted in. So I obviously brute fisted this thing in uh, with my massive muscles. But if you don't have massive muscles, something like a transmission jack uh, can definitely make this a lot easier to install this tank because the metal bracketry probably weighs 50 or 60 pounds um, just on its own. But now everything is in there and now you can kind of see how all of this is going to work. This is of course our panel that's removable for service. Makes it very easy to clean out the filter, stuff like that. Uh, so the next step is we got to figure out how we're going to mount our uh, fill line. So what we've done here is we cut a hole for the fill. We cut a hole in here and then put this rubber grommet around it to keep it from cutting this, uh, this braided hose. Underneath here, the braided hose is run into our input. There's a band clamp on it that I'm going to tighten still. Um, so now we just got to get this cut to length and get this uh, faceplate mounted. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these 3 16 rivets to just rivet it in place. So I use this butyl putty. You can, if you search RV window putty, you can find it. It's very cheap and it lasts well here in the Texas summers and stuff. So basically I just folded it over the lip um, just to kind of give it a, a smaller profile. And now we're going to line these holes up and basically fit this piece in there. And just like that, our little fill is installed. If you see here, if I end up having a dust issue here, um, I'm gonna pack this with that same butyl from underneath, kind of the same stuff as this right here, because it works really, really well. Um, and we got both those clamps on, I still need to shove that in there. But uh, looks pretty good, just like that down there. And so the next step in the water chain is, of course, our water heater. Now here's our water heater and a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, yes, it should ideally have its own vent, but it's um, only working when hot water is flowing. So leaving this door cracked uh, should be plenty of ventilation uh, for, the, uh, for the CO2. Boom. Also, this is not a living space inside the trailer, um, and so you're not really gonna gonna damage anything by not having this uh, ventilate the top. Because I couldn't think of a good way to ventilate it, but still keep the waterproofness that I wanted. Um, and as you can see, I added half inch street angle and half inch uh, regular angle for the water and the gas, respectively. Now the cold water is going to come up through the floor. Um, that should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, just running a PEX through the floor. Uh, okay, so this is our, whoops. Okay, so this is our uh, water box um, and it obviously hooks up to that long hose. And so you have hot and cold adjustment uh, here, right? Um, and then this basically shuts and keeps all kinds of crap out. On the back, I added these half-inch uh, PVC angles just for packaging. And then we've added our half-inch PEX adapters on the bottom. So, one trick I like to do is this. I uh, take a piece of cardboard and basically match it up to the dimensions, and this becomes our template. And I also know how big of a hole to cut out. So, next we're going to figure out where we want to put it on the box. Um, and then just a matter of plasma cutting it out and, and dressing the, uh, the hole. Okay, so there it is mounted exact same way. We got the four rivets, got our hot and cold water. And this way it's a quick reach over to the kitchen and also a quick reach over here where the shower tent's gonna be. And if I bring you back around inside of the trailer, you can see it's up out of the way. There's gonna be all the kitchen storage stuff is gonna go right here and this depth is gonna be enough. And hopefully this will be high enough up out of the way that as we store stuff up here, it's not really gonna gonna get in the way of anything. There we go, nothing super complicated here. Just ran some bare pecs. Uh, instead of doing an angle, I just give it a slight bend. And over there, for the cold, we have a T. So basically, cold water can go up into there. 
uh, from the pump, go up into the heater, but also go over to the cold side of our um, diverter valve, control valve or whatever, and then uh, basically have hot water as well. So here's our completed water setup. We basically did this T, goes through a rubber grommet down there, runs over here and goes to the output of the pump. Uh, that's pretty much it. And that concludes our water system. Well, that concludes the installation of all of the water plumbing in the uh, adventure trailer. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm always open to user uh, kind of suggestions and comments and happy to answer any questions. As always, all the parts that were used are detailed down in the description below in the Google Doc. Uh, there are affiliate links there so that you can buy the stuff on Amazon. If you use the affiliate links, it supports the channel and I really appreciate it. That's it. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check out the rest of the Adventure Trailer playlist. Love you guys. Peace.